Hi, this is Sarah Barrett from NoteworthyTips.com and today I'm going to show you this quick and easy way for you to integrate data feeds right onto your website. Um, it's very similar to PHB Bay Pro except for that is using eBay listings and what this software does, or script rather, it's not really a software that you're downloading or anything, it's just an easy JavaScript. Um, but anyhow, this script is going to take the data feeds from the various affiliate networks and most likely you're already a member of some of those networks such as Commission Junction, Google Affiliate Network, Linkshare, Share a Sale, Amazon is also on there and there's a few others. Okay, so the name of the script, um, the service that we're going to be using is called Golden Can. Okay, so here's the Golden Can website, and the first thing we're going to do is check out some sample stores. That's not my dog, I'm sorry about that. It's a neighbor's dog down the street. <laughs> okay, so let's check out shopandsave.net. Okay, so here they have some of their product um, categories. And then here are the product listings. Okay. We can take a look at another if you like. You can also come here on your own and check out as many as you want. Um, let's do petjevity.net. Oh, geez, now there's a lawnmower man. Okay, sorry about that. That's the price you pay for living in California and want to have your windows open. <laughs> Okay, so um, we checked out their product listings too. Okay, and um, it's just really easy to use and I just am so in love with this script. Okay, so here are the networks. As I mentioned, Commission Junction, Linkshare, Google Affiliate, ShareSale, um, Amazon was also on there, Betty Mills Company. And um, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and apply and get approved for all of these networks. And the reason why that is, is I'm sure you've logged into your network and um, you're promoting a merchant and you go to see if they have any data feeds and they most likely don't. For some reason, most merchants don't have a data feed. It, I would say at least 30% of the merchants on these websites don't, or networks don't have a data feed. Um, so if you just go ahead and apply for all these networks, it'll be so much easier for you to go through and find the appropriate merchants. You'll have a better variety if you want to add more than one store, one more, more than one data feed. Okay, and then um, we'll check out the merchants. There are a lot of merchants on here. And, um, well, actually, let's go ahead and click... So here are all the active merchants right now. You can see there's just a ton of merchants. You're probably already promoting some of these. Just the list goes on. Okay, so um, there are two different types of merchants on this um, system. First, we have the free merchants. The free merchants are noted with this red star by their name. And what the free merchant means is that if you use these merchants, um, every sale that you send to them, you will get your complete and full commission. Um, the other merchant listing is what we have here, and this is called the fourth click merchants. They don't have a red star by their name. And what this means is um, you are going to share your click-through traffic with Golden Can if you use one of these merchants. Um, it's totally random. I guess it's like every fourth product, product listing, is going to have your affiliate ID removed and Golden Can will have their affiliate, affiliate ID swapped in instead. So you still have a greater chance of, you know, 75% of the sales, but you should be aware of that there's a slight chance that Golden Can could get a sale over you. So it's totally up to you. If um, you want to just stick with the free merchants, that's fine. If you 
absolutely want to have a store that's listed here on the fourth click merchant and they do well for you then go ahead and and use them so um, now we're ready to go ahead and register for our account so if you just click on my account and log in and click on register you'll go ahead and fill out this form and then you'll get a confirmation email and they'll assign you a password so you need to come back and um, enter that assigned password and then at that point you can change it under your account settings if you want um, if you also wouldn't mind go ahead and put my name as the referral Sarah Barrett um, I don't think it does anything for the I don't get a affiliate um, commission or anything like that but um, just to let them know that it was my traffic that sent them here <laughs> okay um so now we're gonna sign into our account okay so now we're logged into our account and the first thing we're going to do is go down to my settings um, you can go ahead and change your password if you want first but um, we're going to update our affiliate IDs. So if you click on that, then you'll be taken here and you can go ahead and enter all of your publisher IDs for all the various networks. Once you're done, update and then um, we're actually ready to create our stores. So we're going to create a new store and there are several methods that you can use for your um, store setup. However, I'm just going to show you how to use this one, which is the keyword category store, just because I think it's the easiest and most diverse. So here we're going to go ahead and use any kind of generic name. This is just a personal reference for us. No one else is going to see this. So I'm going to name it athletic shoes. And then the search keyword. Um, so you may actually, if you're doing something more specific, you may want to put that right here. However, I did try to put athletic shoes in there earlier and um, it did not like it and it didn't spit out any products at me. So I'm just going to use shoes Go ahead and click create store. And now we need to pick our merchant that we're going to start with. So um, I'm going to choose East Bay and that's a shoe company and I think it's under link chair. Yeah. Okay. So check them off scroll down to the bottom and you're going to click continue here you'll enter your ID number for the network for link share you could enter a sub ID as well um, you could even put the store name whatever you want there okay and then um, now we're ready to go ahead and modify our store. You could change the keyword search here if you need to. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is start with the font color because I think it's blue or something. Oh no, it is black. Okay. But you can change the font color if you want. I'm going to change my link color to green. Um, categories per row. We don't have any categories right now, so you can't see them, but um, you know, all the names, the categories would be listed here. So let's just put down that we want three per row. And then um, products per row. We're going to put, I want four products across. And um, products per page. Let's just go ahead and do 16. You can do whatever you want there. If you click update store, you'll get another little preview here of what your store is looking like. There, so now we have um, our four columns and four rows. And then um, you can go ahead and change the product image size. So let's say I want to go to 100 pixels. So now I have bigger products. Again, you could go larger if you want. And then the display of the description. Um, you can keep it on if you want. You could maybe cut back on the description. So right now it's kind of long. There, that's with the 50 characters. Um, 